I want to explain air pressure and flow and how air flows through buildings um, caused by pressure differences. Now, <clears throat> if we have an air pressure difference and we have some holes, then we're going to have air flow through those holes. Now, how, why, how might we create a pressure difference? Well, one way that we can create a pressure difference is with a fan. That's what we do during blower door testing. So let's say that we have a fan. We have just a box here, a large box, and we have a fan in the box. Well, the minute that fan starts to spin, it sends the air flowing in one direction. If the fan were strong enough, and if the box had absolutely no holes in it, then the fan would create a vacuum in, inside the box. Well, real boxes usually have some type of air leak. And so here we have three air leaks. And we're creating what we call exfiltration by using the fan. And the fan is blowing air out of the box and air is coming into the box through the holes. One cubic feet per minute, when one cubic feet of air per minute comes through one of these holes, one cubic feet of air goes out. So one cubic foot of air in, one cubic foot of air out. And what's causing the air to flow is a pressure difference. The pressure is negative inside of the box because the fan is blowing air out of the box. So we maintain this negative pressure, which means that there's a positive pressure outside. Pressure is a little bit tricky to understand because it's just a comparison. And what the comparison between the negative part and the positive part is, is that these, there are a, a lower density of molecules here. The molecules are more spread out, whereas over here, they're more dense. And so the dense air wants to spread out into where the air is not so dense. And a lot of materials uh, exhibit this same type of characteristic, where uh, you know, where the, if there's a high density of material on one side and a low density on the other, there's a pressure for the air to flow or for moisture, water vapor to flow in, in, in a certain direction. So we have exfiltration and we have infiltration. In buildings, we at Saturn normally refer to this as air leakage. We don't care if it's going out or going in, really. But in this example, it's, it's good to note that uh, the air coming in is called, by a lot of people, it's called infiltration. So the air infiltrates the box. And over here, we have exfiltration, where the fan is forcing air out through it, causing exfiltration on this side. So we have a pressure difference. And the pressure difference in this case is caused by the fan. And we have holes in the box here. We have infiltration because there's a pressure difference. Here it's positive, here it's negative. Air is always naturally going to flow from positive to negative, from an area where the density is higher to an area where the air density is lower. That's the way it naturally flows. But we can make it flow uh, from negative to positive as it's flowing here by the use of a fan. So we're creating in this zone right here, in this whole zone, we're creating a negative pressure with reference to the outdoors. And the outdoor air is naturally going to want to flow in. And the way we're creating the pressure is that we're exhausting air out of the box using a fan. Let me just sum this up one more time because it's very important. We have a box. We have a fan. The fan is blowing air through it in this direction. 
that is creating a negative pressure inside the box. And the reason is, is because the air is getting stretched out. And so the, the air here is less dense than the air on the outside. And that's making the air on the outside want to flow in through every ho available hole that air is going to be flowing in. And for every cubic foot of air that is being moved through the fan, there is another cubic foot of air that's going to be coming in through the holes. So we have the flow is in equilibrium. We have one CFM in, one CFM out. A CFM means cubic foot per minute. And a cubic foot of air is about this much air. So you might ask, well, if there's a pressure difference between the inside of the box and the outside of the box created by the fan, can we measure this pressure? Well, the answer is yes. We could just take a piece of clear tubing and put some liquid in it. And because the air is denser outside than it is inside, we, we have kind of a, a comparison here that, that we could actually measure the pressure difference. And the pressure difference would be seen in the difference of the level of this liquid. This liquid be, would be lower because the air bearing down on this column right here, because it's exposed to the outside where the air is denser. And the, the difference between that and this column, which is open to the air inside, the column is going to be moved in the direction uh, of, of the negative space. So the positive pressure is going to bear down on this and move the fluid slightly. Now this measurement is measured in inches of water column or pascals. Inches of water column is the American system of measurement and pascals is the international system of measurement.